Turning now to your community focus, the Rhode Island Foundation has been in the headlines lately as Congressman David Cicilline prepares to leave his post in Washington and take the helm. And joining us now live in studio is the man he'll be replacing this summer, Neil Steinberg, president and CEO of the Rhode Island Foundation. Thanks for being here. Great to be here. Thank you. So let's start with some of the news that came out yesterday. Sure. Last year's grant making for the foundation was the second highest mm -hmm. in your 107 year history, $84 million. Right. Talk us through how that money benefits the average Rhode Islander. Yeah, sure. So just to balance it out, you know, uh, our mission is to meet the needs of the people of Rhode Island. In order to give out the money, we also raise money. Mm. And we have a very large $1.3 billion endowment. So we raised $75 million, but we gave out $84 million. And to, we gave 2,400 grants. Um, our focus areas are education and health, economic security, but all across housing, the arts, the environment, uh, basic needs. And the need is driven by great, great nonprofits doing boots on the ground work mm -hmm. across the state and meeting those needs. And when you have a time where we're still, still recovering economically and in other ways from COVID, when inflation that you all talk about a lot, uh, it, there's a lot of need out there. And so our job is to support it. We're by far the largest grant maker in the state. I wish we were the 10th largest. I mm. wish there were nine other <laughs> funders. But there's no doubt that the need is out there. And so across all the sectors, across all the geographies, we're, we're funding good organizations to help people. I have to ask you about your successor, Congressman David Cicilline. Mm -hmm. it seems like wherever I go, people want to talk to me about the fact that he's replacing you after 15 years. So what are you hearing from people? And is there any concern about the fact that a partisan politician is taking on this role? Great question. And you know where it was answered? It was answered on newsmakers. Oh, okay. Which people you watch can watch. newsmakers yeah. and you watch this guy, Ted Nisi. He actually talked <laughs> to Congressman David Cicilline about this, mm. about partisan. So, you know, somebody who's, who's an elected official is partisan most of the mm -hmm. time. Rhode Island Foundation, we're not partisan. Right. We're here for everybody in the state and we balance that. And Congressman Cicilline said on air, that he will be a nonpartisan David Cicilline. And that's because, you know, that's what we do. We're, we're here to support people. We have a very active board. And so I'm really looking forward to it. His, his you know, he's a very bright uh, person. He's committed to the state. He knows the state inside and out. I joked he's probably one of five people that has a better Rolodex than I do. Uh, <laughs> but we're really excited about that when, when he comes aboard. But I think that question, the proof will be in the pudding, but was answered on Channel 12. You can watch it on WPRI.com right. right now. <laughs> there you go. And so, uh, as we mentioned, your last day mm -hmm. at the helm of the Rhode Island Foundation is June 1st. Is there anything specific that you would say, I can't walk away from this job without doing X? Yeah, probably a whole lot. You know, we, we tend to get involved. We, we tackle long-term systemic issues. So improving education, you know, uh, eliminating achievement gaps, healthcare disparities, things like that. So you kind of walk away saying you made a dent, but there's still a lot more to do. And we're 107 years old. We're going to stay here permanently. So there's continuity. And then there's the, what did you do uh, for right outside your door? So I think uh, we're, we're leading efforts with elected officials on housing. And I think there's a lot we can do between now and June 1st on, on housing. We're looking into expanding the life sciences uh, industry in Rhode Island. So it's kind of a race to, to try and get things done. I'm not leaving the state, but I won't have the job. Uh, but I'll be around to, to work on things and do things. And I'm sure this won't be our last conversation with you, but unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today. Neil Thank Steinberg, you. thanks for being here. Thank you.